Hi Matt, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm good, thank you. Um, how are you? How much are you looking forward to this double header against Hearts? Yeah, looking forward to it. Like I look forward to to all games, and I think we all are. Um, it's quite a unique experience in the sense that obviously we're playing the same team twice in three days, which is quite rare. But um, no, looking forward to it. Yeah. Given the run that you're on at the moment, now there's a lot of talk about who can anyone catch Celtic this season and end that unbeaten run. Do you guys thrive on that and relish that challenge of of being the team that no one can beat? Yeah, to be completely honest, I'm probably going to give you a boring answer here, but we're very disinterested in anyone but ourselves, if I'm being honest. Um, that's kind of the mindset and the culture we have. We kind of purely try to focus on what we can do here at the training ground every day. Um, and I think the rest just takes care of itself. Hi, Matt. If you could just give us a wee insight into what it's like, you know, being a midfielder at the moment. There's so much competition. What's it like in training? You know, there's so much, so many good players in that team at the moment. What's it like? Are you driving each other on and how competitive is it? You know, trying to get one of those three spots for the, in the middle of the park. Um, it's good. I think it's it's always a positive. The more competition you have, to be honest, I think, you know, people would be lying if they said they play their best football when they don't have competition. I think you naturally play better when people are pushing you to perform at a high level. So, yeah, in that sense, it's definitely a positive. Um, and yeah, from from a training perspective, everyone's everyone's training well. No one's like salty behind each other's backs. We're all still rooting for the for the same goal at the end of the day. And you know, I think if someone else is doing well, it kind of pushes you to play well as well. So no, no problems at all. When you train alongside the likes of McGregor and Hatati and the like, have you found that your games improve massively? You know, as the competition grows and the wins keep coming. I think so. Yeah, I think you naturally probably the more confident we are as a team, we we'll probably play probably play better. But I think the message has been since the break really is to try and push on. And like, kind of take ourselves to a new level, and I think we've probably done that for the most part. You know, we've conceded hardly any goals, which has been a massive plus. Um, kind of just allows us creative players to kind of play with a bit more freedom because we don't have to worry so much about conceding that that many goals, which has been positive. Yeah, Matt, it's going to be a hundred games under the manager tomorrow night. Just give us an an insight into what he's like to to work with and what you feel he he brings to to the club and to the players. Um, yeah, first and foremost, I think the football probably speaks for itself. I think the football we play is it's quite unique in terms of attractive to watch, but at the same time very effective. Um, so he's definitely brought that that to the club. Um, and as players, I think he gives us real clarity on our roles within the system and the structure. So I think you know, specifically when you're a new player and you come in, it's very easy to to adapt, which in a lot of clubs it's not easy to do and I think that's yeah, it's easier said than done. So having someone to lead and you know, delegate roles to other staff members so the message is really clear. I think he's very good at that. Um and yeah, naturally he's obviously a a good leader within the club which kind of just helps everyone everyone follow. Absolutely. And how would you describe the the culture at the club? Clearly it's a winning culture, but I just mean in terms of a place to be and a place to work and a place to thrive. Um yeah, it's a good question. I think, to be honest, the most important thing we have here is just is good people. Um, everyone in the team gets on very well, which I think in football is is rare to find. I've said before, but I feel as though pretty much every player in the team could go out and have like dinner together, and everyone would get along, which I think is is a real asset that we have, and I think that kind of translates onto the pitch as well. So yeah, I think that's kind of the the main part of our culture. On top of that, we've obviously got the the winning mentality, which comes from the top of the club, from people like Callum, like Joe, like experienced players that kind of give that energy out to other people. Um, so naturally, every day we work really hard and everyone's kind of moving towards the same goal, in a sense. Well, you mentioned playing Hearts twice in a week. There's obviously maybe be, maybe be a few changes this week as well. Do, 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 you, do you kind of the last few weeks maybe been on the bench a bit more often. Do you do you have to seize the moment every time you come on? Is it a different thing for you to 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 be making an impact off the bench as well? Yeah, I think so. I think you have to approach the, every game the same though. I think that's the most important thing. Whether you are on the bench or you are starting, if you're on the bench, you've got to be ready to play at any time. You know, someone could get injured unfortunately, or something could happen where you need to to come on earlier than expected. So, I think most importantly is being ready, regardless if you're starting or playing. Um, 
and obviously the way we play as well. I think a lot of the times in games, the last half an hour, opposition tend to be quite tired as well. So there's usually quite a lot of space and gaps to open up. So if you are ready and you are focused, there's definitely chances to impact the game. Um, yeah, no, of course you'd, you'd like to start every game, but at the same time, we know we've got a lot of healthy competition here. So it's not always the case, um, but at the same time, you've always got to be ready. Um, obviously, Hearts have given you a, a couple of tough games uh, during your time here. How do you, what do you, what's your thoughts about playing against them? It's, it's another game, if I'm being honest. It's another game. Um, if we play the football that we know we can, then I think we'll be just fine. Um, away games tend to be probably a bit more difficult against them just because they've got naturally quite a hostile atmosphere. But at the same time, if we remain calm like, like we can do, then I think we'll be okay. Hi Matt. Um, talking about it's just another game, but do you do you enjoy playing against the other top teams in the country? Do you thrive playing in the in the big occasions? You know the cup quarterfinals, the you know playing the the team third place in the league. I think so. Yeah, I think so called bigger games from the outside. I guess people could say they get more up for them, but I don't know. To be completely honest, it's as long as I'm playing football, I'm going to enjoy it regardless. So if it's against bottom of the league or if it's against Rangers. I still think your approach has to be the same because otherwise the performance could easily differ massively. Um, but saying that, of course, playing Rangers in a cup final, for example, is a game that you're naturally going to be very up for. How about your own game? Two goals in your last four matches. Obviously, you have been out of the team a bit, starting on the bench a bit, but starting to produce goals. How, how do you feel you're playing? Where do you, where do you think you are at the moment? Um... No, I'm in a, I think I'm in a good place. I think I'm in a good, good place mentally, which is the most important thing. Um, rush usually takes care of itself when when the mental side is good. Um, so yeah, no, I feel like I'm in in a good place physically and and mentally, like I've just said. So no complaints from me. I'm feeling good. Matt, just shortly before um, your kind of spell on the, on the bench more recently, you were playing really well, especially when Callum McGregor was injured, playing in that deeper position. Just when you did find yourself out with the team, how has that affected you and how tough has that been? Um, yeah, of course, I'd, I'd like to play. Uh, probably a bit more than I have, naturally. Um, I think sometimes there's things away from football as well, which people may not see, um, that can also affect you at times. So I understand from a fan's perspective, they only see what happens on the pitch, which is which is completely fair enough. But if something's happening elsewhere, then sometimes that also plays plays a part on you mentally. Um, and yeah, I think I'm in a a much better place now than I was probably during that time. Um, I've learned a lot, to be honest, having pretty much, like you said, been pretty much a regular for most of the season and then not playing a little bit. So I've learned a lot, um, especially mentally, just because it's obviously difficult when you go from that expectation of playing all the time to maybe not playing as much, but to be honest, I feel like right now it's probably in the best place I've been in a long time. So I think you know those experiences of not playing and you know having tough times away from the pitch they definitely shape you into being a better person. Yeah, and just uh, Gab's touching on the fact two goals in four games. You're playing well coming off the bench, given the fact you're playing the same opposition twice in a week. There might be some squad rotation. Do you think this is now? potentially your opportunity to get yourself back in with a, with a short start? I think every game's an opportunity, even if I'm starting or not starting to get back into the team, if I'm being honest. I think, you know, the way we play, like I said, the last half an hour games really do open up, so you can you do have a chance to really show yourself. Um, and yeah, I think I've, I've probably done that in recent games, so that, that's been positive. But no, at the same time, I'm not worried about becoming a, a starter or a regular, whatever you, however you want to phrase it. I'm kind of more just focused on doing what I can to to be able to affect the game in, in a positive way, and hopefully I can do that. Hi, Matt. Um, so new players such as O and Alistair Johnson are now beginning to lead the celebrations after the victories at the end of the games, despite only being at the club for a matter of months. What do you think that says about the chemistry of the group, that the new boys feel so comfortable in doing that? Yeah, I think it speaks for itself. Um, like I said earlier about the culture in terms of bringing in good people, those two are the examples of the perfect examples of, of really good people. Um, you know, Ali's a really chatty, friendly guy, and to be honest, O is as well. As much as his English is not perfect, he's really making an effort to to speak with boys and 
kind of adapt to the the UK culture. Um, so I think a lot of the boys have taken to him really quickly, um, and hopefully the fans do as well. And you're now starting to score goals this season to go along with your many assists in the league. Um, how happy are you that you're accumulating both types of goal contributions in your game? Yeah, of course, I probably haven't scored as many as I, I'd have liked this season, um, like you said, so it's nice to add that back into to my game a bit. I think that's probably come from worrying about scoring a bit less, if I'm being honest. You know, when you kind of put too much pressure on yourself to to achieve an outcome, it probably the chances of it happening are probably a lot less. Um, but yeah, regardless, I'm not actually too fast if I score or assist or if I just play well. As long as the team is, is winning like we are doing, then I'm pretty content.